All right, guys, welcome to episode 170 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go over to Patreon, check us out over there, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already, and stay tuned for the new drop. But we're back with another one. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? How we feeling? Feeling good, feeling good. Happy Mother's Day. Hey, man, Woo! listen. I'll tell you what, round of applause to all the mothers out there, round of applause to the real moms, you know what I mean? Y'all take care of business, you do what you gotta do, you get to it, and you make sure your kids are taken care of, man. Round of applause to you, straight up. Straight up. But yeah, man. Straight Starting up. Starting off with a little bad news, man. I was scrolling down uh, down Instagram yesterday, I think it was yesterday or the day before, and I seen Kevin Samuels pass away, man. Rest in peace to Kevin Samuels, bro. If y'all y'all aren't familiar with his work, bro, he did a lot, you know, he did a lot of helping women and men. But he got famous for the women. You know what I'm saying? Like the way yeah. he used to talk to women and tell them, like, look, you need to come to terms of reality. You're five two, you're three hundred pounds. Like, you're not gonna get a six, seven dude that makes millions of dollars. Like, unfortunately, you might have to you're a you know, settle for a plumber. Yeah. Like he would be real with people, but he would do the same things to guys. Yeah. Like he he would do the same exact things to dudes. Yeah. He was just real with people. Like yo, yeah. you're not what you think you are in your tax bracket and how your physique and everything. Like it all comes into play. You know what I'm saying? So rest in peace to him. You know what I'm saying? You might have not always liked the way he delivered the message, but the message was facts. <laughs> it's like it's yeah, just yeah. Like he was really really speaking facts. He would literally tell you, be like, yeah, listen, listen, you're a, you're a six, you're not. Really a seven, eight, nine, right? You know, so you need to take your take your ass down. You know what I mean? Take you know you're not you're not you're not a fucking supermodel, right? You know what I mean? It's fucking crazy, man. And these women would get mad at him. Yeah, like, they get mad, like, but like, what are you gonna say? It's and they true. specifically and he he made a message out. He's like specifically out to the black women. He said that's what he said. He's real, bro. Specifically, he's and, real, and this bro. is a black man, and he's talking specifically to the black women. You know, and he said it in this in his video. I saw it like last. It was like a like a clip that, that nah, was posted. Bro, he, he's I was real, just like, bro. wow, people, this is incredible. You know, people hate on him and stuff, but like, there's a lot of couples that attest to him helping them like get together, get their marriage right, whatever. Like, he helped a lot of fucking people, bro. It like I said, it. like sometimes that you might not like the way the message comes across, but the message is facts, and you that's what makes people mad. And it's it's not even about like people are gonna make mistakes. People are not perfect. And he says that. He makes it very clear. He's like, I have a lot of problems myself. He's Facts. Like, everyone he, does. He's bro. like, everyone has their problems. It's about what you do after. Mm -hmm. It's literally, it's okay. You cheated. Wow. There's a reason why you cheated. Let's figure out the issue why you cheated. This yeah, is a marriage. It's not always on the other person's fault. Like, on yeah. the other person. Yeah. Some of it might be. But a lot of times it's internal. It's something that you had going on inside of you that made you want to go do that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So. You got to get to the bottom of that shit, but it's easier to point the finger. You know what I'm saying? It's always easier to just point the finger than to look at yourself. But I hey, saw, man, I saw a video. Rest she, in peace to Kevin <laughs> Samuels, bro. You know what I'm saying? He he was a you know yeah yeah he, he was, was a fucking soldier. He was a solid man. He you know what I'm saying like and no one knew he had stage three cancer. No one. You know what I mean? Imagine going through all that stress, all people talking about you, doing all this stuff, being out in the public, you know, and you have stage three cancer. You you a strong motherfucker. Yeah, but that gives you a different insight on life. Like, he's probably like, yo, who cares? Because I'm going to go. Like, yeah, I'm going to go sooner than most of y'all. So well, I don't give a fuck about what you're talking about. Yeah, like, that's what he said, too. He was like, man, like, he said he got di diagnosed with cancer in, like, in his early 20s. That sucks, man. So he's been fighting fighting cancer for, like, years and years and years. Mm -hmm. And he told himself, he's like, yo, I'm going to make I'm gonna make sure I leave my mark on this earth. He I'm did, gonna, I'm going to tell people what it is. He did. Round of applause to Kevin Samuels, man, and the legacy that you left behind, bro. You did your thing while you were here. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. put, you taught a lot of a lot of us a lot of things, and, hey, man, you preach truth. So and people you can't act, do nothing but respect it. And people act like, yo, like going to therapy is, like, bad. Like, he asked right. these women, he's like, hey, like, you know, are you going to therapy? And she's like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to therapy, blah, 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 blah. She starts explaining, like, yeah, you know, I'm still going to therapy, and... You know, um, I, w I really want to get with my ex. You know, he's a high value man. I miss him. I know I messed up and I know I lost him. 
And he's like, okay, that's yeah. fine. That's fine. I seen that when she was married and yeah, stuff. And he's, he's like, you can't make this. He's, up. he's like, he's like, he's like, you gotta be kidding yeah, me. Yeah, like you have to be it's kidding crazy, me, right? Because that's how women think. Yeah. And it's like they think it's okay. Like, yo, what gives you the right to think that like you could just hop from man to man just because you want him back? Do you know how bad of a sin? And I, I can't really say a sin is worse than You're another. Just sin. for the streets, bro. But the thing is, is like, you know how bad it is to really br- like destroy your family? Like, God. God is going to punish you for that, bro. When you destroy your family, you destroy your home, for no good destroy reason your too. kids, destroy literally everything because you want a high value man that makes a lot more money and it has a high status symbol. I mean, the thing is, she knows she fucked up. Yeah. And she wants to do what she fucked up with back. But it's like, it's too late for that. You you needed to fix that when it was needed, if, you know, when it was needed. And she asked the dude her dad. moved on. He's rich. He's probably got 20 of you now. She asked, <laughs> like, her, yeah, she asked her dad. She's like, hey, like, Kevin asked her. She's like, hey, so did you ask your father? Are you close to your father? She's like, yeah, yeah. You know, I talked to my dad about it. He said, you know, I should, I should really be appreciative towards the man that I have now because he gave me a home. He gave me, he gave me everything. You know, and he took you in when you were for the streets and he took you in when you were for the streets and he made sure that you had a good life. And it's crazy. And you became a wife. Yeah. And it's, there's so it's many women out here that be talking that wife shit and you'll never become one. Or yeah. if you do, you'll go through three or four different marriages yeah. because it's like you're not really a wife just because you tell yourself you're a wife. And it's, it's like being fat as fucking looking in the mirror and saying you're fit. Like you could say it all you want, bro. But to you go, you know what I'm saying? Like put in the work. It's, and it's hard growing up with like. Again, it's like it, it comes from within because like it depends on what family you come from. Like there's some families that like they have open relationships. I yeah, know some women that people I, that's, that's normal in their life. Like I know some women that I grew up with and their families have open relationships, mm-hmm. you know, and it's like a lot of them, like their aunts, their uncles, their moms. You know what I mean? And it's like, I guess it's normal for them. So that kind of passes down to them. But the husband ain't with that shit. You know what I mean? Like the husband ain't with that shit, but she is. That's that's a that's a conversation you guys need to have before the con- before the relationship starts. It's just beta males let it, letting promiscuous women like tell them what what the fuck is right and what isn't. That's how I feel. Yeah. Because I remember back in the day, bro. Rest in peace, my grandfather. And like there were certain generations where none of that shit was fine. Yeah, that none was, of that shit. Yeah, was it's flying. not flying. Like it like, doesn't fucking matter what you feel like. Yeah, go feel like that quietly in your room. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like that shit. Like it don't fly here. But like my wife ain't gonna be hoeing. My daughter ain't gonna be hoeing. My yeah. sister's not gonna be hoeing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like if that's normal, that's normal. And certain, you know, nowadays is way more acceptable. People start fucking and having kids at like 14, bro. Like young, bro. Even younger than that in some places. Like yo, I seen women. But it's like it, we <laughs> should we should fix that and not make it the norm. Yeah. We should we should look at it and be like, yo, you should probably grow up a little before you go and start f- fucking and having kids and starting a family at 14, 15, 16. Like, and that's the problem, too. You know, it's and, kids raising kids. And with me, too. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, I look at my past relationships and I'm like, man, like, why didn't it work out? Well, there's a lot in a lot of cases is because I've had sex before anything. And sex is not something that needs to be done in the beginning. You know, and when the older that you get. You start to realize, like, you really need to get to know this person as an adult. You really need to get to know this person. They're they're goods. They're bad. So what makes them happy? Mm -hmm. What makes them sad? Like, you really need to know this person. So, like, to have sex, like, I get it. Some people can have sex and then they're 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 together forever. Some people have that, and that's great and that's wonderful. Yeah, that's good for you. But in most cases, like, you do not want to have sex in the beginning. Nah, you really bro. don't And that's the thing man Like that's That's 100% facts bro Cause I've been in both situations Where it's like I just met a chick You know we got into it Whatever And it, the sex was cool But the best sex That I've ever had Is with With you know The women that I trusted Yeah Like women that I got to know And we like You really know each other Once you know each other It's, all, it's different bro Yeah it's a you know different connection so, Definitely different connection I would say Build that connection first Of course You know what I'm saying If that's your goal Yeah if your goal is for long term, if not, then just go, you know, be a hoe and do your thing, I guess. Do your thing, I but guess. Just but just know like, everything <clears throat> has consequences, bro. Yeah, I start it's like, to, there's a lot of girls that was hoeing in their 20s and 30s, bro. And now, now they're starting to realize like, damn, bro, maybe hoeing around wasn't the best thing for me. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't bring me true happiness. And when you have you sex, like, when you have sex, you leave, you leave a, a piece of you with that person that you can't get back for a long time. Listen to me again. I'm going to repeat that one more time. When you have sex with somebody, you leave a piece of you with somebody that you can't get for a very long time. It takes time for you to get that back, that energy, that stuff that you leave. You're transferring energy. 
So yeah, you're transferring a lot more than that, bro. Have, DNA. Have Literally you ever DNA. have you ever had sex and you're like, man, like, and then you're done. You're like, ah, oh, man, I shouldn't have did that. Of course, you know, everybody's like, been through that. Bro. You know what I mean? You and wake it's up like, or whatever, like you just go. You're like, man, I, uh, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. Bro. <laughs> that wasn't it. That wasn't boy. it, bro. You know what I mean? But and, hey, uh, listen, guys, you got to learn. You know what I'm saying? You got to live. You got to learn. This is us talking now at what 26, 28 years old, like. It's different now for us. When I was 18, you couldn't tell me none of this shit. Like, Fuck you, bro. I want to get some pussy, and that's it, bro. But you just you got to live, you got to learn, and you got to go through your own experiences for you to really understand certain shit. You know what I'm saying? But one thing I really needed to understand, one thing I needed to do to understand was go get my fucking teeth extracted, bro. Yeah, that's I never worst. understood. People would be like, bro, that shit hurts. And I'd be like, yeah, whatever, y'all bitch it's made a different ass t- It's a different type of pain. Nah, bro, like... It's not the, the pain. pain. It's not the afterwards? pain where you're like, yeah, you're not like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, like, oh nah, my god, it's not it's crazy, not like but, that, it's but it's constant, like, and it's, it's like it fucks with your head, it fucks with your jaw. <laughs> you can't chew right. You can't fucking talk right for the first couple of days. Yep. Like, I got straight back to work, bro. I didn't give a fuck. Like, I, got, you know, what I'm saying, I got it done. The next day, I was back at work, but it's like I told my boy that he's like, nigga, you're crazy. Like, you need to go lay down for like four days, bro. Like that yeah. shit. You had real oral surgery. I was I like, bro, up, I don't give a fuck. I was like, texting him. I was like, yo, you good, bro? Like, yeah. Man. I was like, yo, yeah, when bro, I first I'm saw him walking through that door, that boy was so high, he looked like he was fucking flying, bro. That this motherfucker, nigga, that motherfucker they was walking. They, they didn't sedate me. I wasn't high at all. They put, uh, oh, they, numbed, like they numbed my yeah. mouth, bro, and I had, uh, I had the gauze in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For the blood. But it was, man, the surgery itself wasn't bad. Nah. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. The pain after is what fucks with they, you. They put me to sleep, bro. Yeah, you're a bitch, man. He got yeah. put to sleep for one tooth. I got three nah, teeth taken two. out. It was two. I got three extractions, it was two, bro. It was two and two. I did it. I did two one side and then the other side, and I did like a month later. And then like they stitched me up, and I had stitches from the bottom all the way to the top on both sides, and the stitches would yeah, and they would dissolve like after a while. Yeah, they the, just go away. But like you would start to like get pieces of stitches fall off, and you're just like ah, mm-hmm. you know, and you feel it. You're like damn, bro. But they say like the fastest healing part of your body, and the most clean. Is your mouth or the most dirtiest? I'm sorry, the most dirtiest, and it, it's the fastest healing. Is your mouth? Did you know that? Yeah, it makes absolutely no sense. But Doctor Johnny got it. <laughs> your mouth is the most dirtiest, dirtiest thing. I didn't know that, bro. But when you when you get a cut, they say like your mouth is is the fastest healing. Like it heals quick, quicker than you know on the outside. They say like your mouth will heal really, really quick compared to like your outside of your body, which is crazy. You know what I mean? Something that's hey, so man. dirty, right? With so much bacteria and that's incredible. Hey, bro, I don't know nothing about that, but I'll take your word for it. Yeah, I'll bro. Tell you that I'm not a dentist, but you know I should be. You know what I mean? And the dentist, bro, that shit is no joke, boy. Yeah, nah, it's it, you better like eat said, the, the procedure itself ain't bad, bro, but. The couple days afterwards was and what was they had to go through. I'm glad he only did three because he was gonna do all four, and I was like. Like he he told me that last one he was like bro it's impacted I'm gonna just send you to somebody else to a specialist you know what I'm saying for them to put you to sleep for that one because that shit's gonna hurt like he told me straight up I was awake for these three like I was just sitting there bro letting that nigga do his thing but no 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 mine were I waited too late yeah like nah. I waited to the point where it was like, like I bro, waited like two years before I fucking like I needed all four done at once but he only did three because he's like bro you're gonna be fucked like just do these three heal up come back we'll do this one. I was like, all right, bet. That's the worst because you can't smoke. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't give a fuck, bro. All that shit's bullshit. I'm gonna let you know that right now. I was smoking that very. Night. I'm telling you, I was right back at work. I was smoking. Like, it's not like how like that pain isn't that bad, bro. I haven't got no dry socket. Like, to me, that that's kind of horseshit. I don't, I don't know. I don't Whoever know. Whoever has dry socket, I like, feel like, I feel it, sorry for I you. Feel like if been, you I feel, feel like if you if you smoking, I feel like if you smoke literally right after you get out the motherfucking place, then you might have an issue. I did. No, like right after, nigga. I left. I was smoking oh, then, a joint like two hours later. I was smoking a joint on the way oh, home. A joint. I went all Not the way to blunt. Ocala to do this. That's a blunt, though. Not I was, a blunt. I mean, regardless, they no. say you can't smoke. Whether it's a blunt, a joint, a cigarette, they tell you you can't smoke. Yeah, my, dad like, did, my dad didn't give a fuck bro. either. Yeah, bro. Like I've known plenty of people that didn't, and they're all right. 
<laughs> and my dad were, was smoking you know, cigarettes like, on that yeah, shit. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> like 50,000 chemicals in your cut. It's all good. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you know what, man? Nah, do I'd what be you like do, that, right? Bro, you got to live your fucking life. Fuck what anybody says, man. But nah, fuck that. one thing I wanted to talk about, bro, is, bro, the real world versus school, bro. I feel like when you go out into the world and you experience reality, bro, it teaches you a lot more than fucking school does, bro. Like, yeah, I mean, unless you uh, we've talked about it before, unless you're going to learn law or you're going to learn medicine or shit like that. Yeah. Going to school is like, but to me, bro, the best business people I've ever met in my life, bro, just started a business. They didn't go to business school. They didn't fucking get bachelors in it. They didn't do this or that. They literally just fucking went, started a business, figured it out, hit their head on their floor a couple of times and just. Figured it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's the best teacher. It's good to have a mentor. It's good to have somebody that's done it and been like, you know, you get, you know, like information from like, yo, how'd you do it? You might not want to apply it. So you don't like, but you, you got your ear open. It's always good to have your ear open, of course. But I don't think that you need to go to school necessarily to, to be certain things, bro. And like, I feel like the real world will teach you way more than, than school. They want to fucking... I just I I feel like you're right, bro. You're 100 percent right on that. Um, I feel like the schooling system is kind of like uh, it's crazy because I I have a topic about schooling too for the for the next episode. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get too far into it, but I feel like honestly, I feel like the schooling system here, like it will teach you so much, and like I feel like the outside world will really teach you what the world is about. You're you're right. Like, I feel like the world is like, it's a, it's rough. It's rough out there. And I feel like if you don't go out in that rough world, you, you won't really be prepared. You won't be mentally prepared for things that come, come your way. And like the world taught me a lot of things to be mm -hmm. tough. You know, it, it made me, it made me realize like, it's not always fucking glitter and fucking greener on the other side. It's sometimes yeah, it's bro. fucking dark and ugly. Life you is know? life, man. And the one thing about school is you always, you could always go get some help. Yeah, and that, the one that thing the real school. world to teach you is you can't always go get some fucking yeah, help. You yeah. got to figure some shit it, out on it, your own. It though. depends on what help you want, you know man. What I'm saying? Like, you know, like sometimes there's, there, the therapist can only help you so that's fucking what much. I mean. Like there's a, there's only certain things anybody any outside source could do for an inner for an inner problem. Like, but yeah, bro, the real world, bro, that shit will definitely get you a lot further ahead than you know. what I'm saying, I feel like going to college to learn how to start a business like the only thing that will teach you in my opinion that will put you ahead of somebody that hasn't gone to college is like you know how to fill out s corps and llc's just, but you could look that up in literally 10 minute videos and figure out how to do it i feel like you know what i'm saying like and and the problems that we have are so minor compared to the problems that are happening worldwide like like facts, there's, there's some people getting bombed right now bomb like they're waking up outside the window and they're bombed there's no school <laughs> You're not bro, going they're to handing <laughs> out rifles to yeah. anybody. Like here, bro, if they come into your house, shoot them. Yeah, like like we are so like blessed. Pe people need to understand that how blessed we are. I keep saying this, and people don't understand it. They wake up and they're upset. They're upset about this, upset about that. They're upset that their girlfriend left them. Like, how about you grow some balls, bro? Grow some balls, man, because there's some people dying out here. There's people out here stranded on the ocean. <laughs> But bro, like just keeping it a bug. There's people bro. that fucking get lost at sea and shit. There's yeah. people fucking out here get are in the military being transferred over to a country that's being bombed and, and, and people are dying. People are separated from their families, like children, uh children being fucking trafficking. Bro, there is so many issues going on in the world and you want to worry about your phone not being charged. Your your phone your phone not working. Oh, you this coworker you don't like. Oh man, I don't want to go to work today. Fucking deal with it. Or change it. You know, people are just really, really good at complaining and people don't realize how blessed they are. When you start to realize how blessed you are, you start to be be more appreciative and be more thankful and grateful. And when you when that starts to happen, a lot of good things start to happen to you because you start to help other people out. You start to it, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. The growth as a human being. Think about the times of when you were a teenager and how you thought. Yeah, you're a fucking idiot, bro. For real, like You're I think, I think, idiot. I think of myself, ten year old, I mean, fifteen year old John. Man, I can't believe I was thinking like that. 
Bro, five years ago. Five like, years ago. I can't believe five. I was thinking like that. Even five like, years ago. That's yeah. why I say it all the time, bro. I'm at the age where even, bro, I don't even want to hang out with 21 year olds. Like, I'm past that. I, I it's know. like, bro, like, the only even do- that mentality is like, oh my God, y'all yeah. still think like this? Yeah. Fuck, I can't believe I used to think like that. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, my it's brother like, and their friends are all 20, 21. Yeah, y'all can hang out on my birthday and we can hang out once a year. But I can't be hanging out with y'all every fucking weekend. Yeah, bro. It's a it's different like, mentality. You know, man. it's like one of those things. It's like, I love y'all, but we don't think the same. And I'm starting to notice that with women, too. It's like, I can't start, I can't be dating a certain age group with women now. Like, when I noticed from 18 to 24, that little range right there is when they don't give a fuck. They don't know what's going on. All they care about is getting digged down. All they Facts. care about is what they look like. Facts. What other people think of them. They just want to get digged down as much as they can before their body goes away. You know, I swear to God, that's what most fucking girls be thinking about at that age. And it's like, that's the whole hot girl summer live your life mentality. But and it's that's like, cool. It's d- Not that's, for that long, that's, though. But that's what I'm saying. Like, going right back to 10 minutes ago, those are the women that fuck around in their 20s. They fuck around in their 30s. And then they be lonely as fuck in their 40s thinking, yo, I'm going to die alone. Because, nigga, let's be real. Who the fuck wants to marry... A woman in their forties that all all she did was just get dicked down the last twenty years, bro. You're, you, it's it's mileage, bro. Let's be uh, real. It's mileage. And like, it's one. Th- and men and women think we think differently when it comes to that. Like a woman gets intrigued by a guy that is a player and like, oh, what does he have? Men don't get intrigued by hoes. Girls that have a lot of bodies on their count. Like that's a turn off Like you that's oh, fuck what, that's you what, That's why and they that's don't talk about it that's what women don't it. understand It's like yo you Men will dick you down All day long All week long But am I gonna cuff you Am I gonna marry you Fuck no In, in the priorities When Tommy and, and Fucking Billy And fucking Everybody in the neighborhood Didn't hit Everybody know what the pussy look like Everybody knows what Like There's no Like and the priorities. You gotta think about what you do when you're young. You the priorities. I mean? It blows my mind. I see a lot of women. You know, I've seen a lot of successful women, independent, twenty four year olds, twenty three year olds, and I'm I'm really impressed. But there's there's always something that comes with it. There's always something that you know. It's always good to be true. Like it's always too good to be true sometimes. Mm-hmm. You know. But the ones that, the ones that that really really blow my mind are the ones that don't have a car. Like for real. Like like I'm not trying to be a dick, and you know I I, I try to stay humble at times. But like, come on. We have we, we need a certain standard. How are you even surviving in the state of Florida? If you're living in New York City, it's different. Yeah, it's different. You're in a mm-hmm. subway system. You could walk anywhere you want. You could walk. You could walk to work. You could take the train to work. You could do whatever you want. You don't need a car. But in Central Florida, how are you surviving? That's my first question. And what are you doing to survive? How how do you not have a vehicle in the state of Florida? How do you survive? Come on, people. Really, like safety nets, bro. Safety nets. Like, it's really? easier to call mom. It's easier to go use dad's car. It's easier to just wait for your brother to get off work to fucking use I his share or I get can't. a ride. But people think like that for real, bro. Like it's just, why am I gonna go spend three thousand on a car, bro, when I could just use mom's? No, no, no. It, like it, it, it's a it's a difference in mentality, I bro. That's really what it. I feel like. Once like, I have my car broken down for one day, I lose it. I lose bro, it. I, need, I yeah, can't. Nah, I can't. Bro. I can't deal with I that. I just shit. don't. I just can't grasp the thought of me not having a car. For Fair real. Bro. For real. Like for real. And it blows my mind that they think it's okay. Like, nah, just take me here. Take me in there. That there was a girl I picked up, and you know, I'm like, man, like, all right, you got a job. You know, you're using the company truck, but you don't have a car. Like, you're 20 years old though. You're 21, so it's okay. You're 20, 21. You know, you're you're really young, but. I can't really talk because when I was 20, 18, I graduated high school. My parents helped me out and got me a car. You see what I'm saying? So I can't really talk. I've never been in that situation where it's like, man, I need, I need to buy a car myself, mm-hmm. but come on. Like we need yeah, to, it's different. It's different. So bro, I can't really, you can't really judge people's situations, but it gets to a certain part where it's, it gets to a certain age where it's just like, all right, well you're 24, 25. You have a job. You've been with the job for a nigga, while. By you get, 24, I'd had like four cars. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, like it's a car all about two. what your priority is. Yeah. Like a car is like not once, that expensive. Once you like, really get fucking tired of living a certain way. And that's what people don't get. It's like, once you get tired of it, like nigga, I didn't want a car payment i didn't want a car payment but i also didn't want a piece of shit car that i'm gonna have to be putting two thousand dollars into every four months when it breaks down yeah you know what i'm saying so i'm like you know what bro i hate this but i'm gonna have to go do this you know what i'm saying i need to get a car that i need to pay on monthly if something happens i can take it to the dealership you know what i'm saying like i don't have nothing else to rely on like this is my safety net is this like yeah. i can't go call nobody for two thousand i can't fucking you know what i'm saying like like you said everybody's situation is different bro so you can't you 
like it's easier to judge when you're not in somebody well, else's shoes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That, but, that is true. But, but ultimately, bro, it's if you really want these excuses, yeah. nigga, and you could go fucking get if it. If you I want know, it, you can get it. I know people that used to sleep on people's couches surrounded in roaches, bro. And they're up, up, up. Yeah, yep. they used to catch three Voltrans just to go to fucking work. And they're up, nigga. Like, yeah. It, it, bro, it's all about your mentality And if you're willing to put the work in behind it bro. And if you really want to change your lifestyle You'll get mad enough to where you'll change your lifestyle Like anger isn't always a bad thing mm-hmm. Like most of the good changes in my life Came from that moment of anger Where I was like, I'm, I'm so done and tired of this shit, bro Like I'm, I'm changing it right now And that's the point you gotta and get then, to done, You know what I'm saying? Done Straight up but listen, man, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. We're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that, you know what I'm saying, went over to Patreon. Check this out over there if you've ever copped any merch, whatever. If you're liking, if you're sharing, if you're subscribing, it's not always about money. As long as you show love, man, we show that love right back. Yeah, you, you think, come saying? on, man. Like, it's not even about the $5. We love y'all. We love y'all. <laughs> Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love.